All right, let's begin. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna shift our I'm gonna shift our our music to something a little bit more more tundra sounding. Something a little bit more blustery, a little bit more cold to kind of get us in the mood here. As we are now going to use Wonder Draft, um, and as at least as of this broadcast and this recording or whatnot, this is version seven point four, I believe. I actually just updated it before uh, before going live to make sure that we were all we're all synced up. Bobacus, oh my gosh, Bobacus, it has been a minute. Good to see you. You've been hanging out in science and tech game dev streams. Bobacus, if you're living life, you know, you're taking care of what you want to do and finding entertainment. I will not be jealous of, of your other interests because that's what we do through life. You know, we, we, we go here and there. I hope you've, uh, you know, you've been learning, you've been enjoying, you found some good recreation. Um, and thank you for popping by to say hi. It, it's, it is great to see you again. All right, well, class, if you have, um, oh, you have a game tail, you're welcome to share it, Bobacus. Uh, if you have Wonder Draft, then open it up because this is what you're going to find. Right over here, this is a, a random terrain generator. And we can, um, we can have it uh, pre, pre generate a lot of different uh, default styles. So if we just go with uh, uniform here, here we go. And uh, I, I guess I should say, instead of just looking like it's on paper, let's do something like, uh, there we go. We went from water texture uh, from paper to worn. And of course we can change, uh, we can change our ground texture as well in, uh, in different ways. So anyway, we come back here. So that's uniform. It can just form a continent. And so here's a continent. It's just sort of floating there on its own. An archipelago, which might end up working out for uh, for what we want here. Right? Because this would end up being the, the confederacy of sorts. Now, we don't have to have all this water because there's tools that we can use to manipulate the land here. Um, and we can, uh, we, can swap, or we can change up some... Uh, See if we crank it all the way up. See how we're getting a lot more. And if we crank it down. Uh, let's see. Program's cool. I do agree to uh, Donut. Trust the Flump is rolling a D3 for something. What could that be? Forsaken asks, do I have any more of those Celtic dice? I love the set I've got. Uh, I will have to let you know. I'm currently almost out of dice sets. I had a bit of a run, and uh, I will have to let you know when I get a restock of them, Forsaken. Oh, there's a lot of stuff that I'm sure you can extract out of there daily and even use in 5th edition, if only in concept, or just to tweak it a little bit to the uh, economy or the, or the verbiage of 5th edition. Oh, uh, so, <laughs> uh, Flumpf, uh, if you get, uh, if you draw the, uh, from the deck of many things and you get the star or something, uh, it'll, it'll give you one D three wishes. And so a one, we use a D three for what we do in our random, uh, our random, um, uh, like our character generation and stuff. Uh, but I also, I tied the words to it into also if people do get a wish, by drawing that particular card from the deck of many things. Uh, 
Oh, I hope... Uh, yeah, uh, Roxy, I hope you have fun with it. I don't know if it's incredibly taxing on um, on system resources. There you go. <laughs> so anyway, there's an archipelago and a toll. Which you can see where things like roughness and detail. And, you know, this could even end up being, uh, 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 this could even end up being our concept, right? So in the middle, there is this, uh, you know, there is this swamp and we can even have some rivers and stuff going out and we can raise up the, the land level all around this if we wanted something like this as a pattern. Or you could just go over here uh, and, and it'll just create a world, you know, several continents, bada boom, it wraps around. Here's the known world and there you go. Hey, King, welcome. I'm vaguely reminded of Sunless Sea. Ah, that sounds familiar, but nothing is springing to mind. All righty. Box number one. Bada boom, right down here, sir. You never liked ring setups in fantasy. As in, uh, like a, a campaign setting that's uh that is a ring of land, and boop. By the way, we're gonna open this up. Oh, so it's a it's a campaign setting. It looks like right. I'll bring this up real quick like as we go through your miniatures here mr flump we're gonna start with a city guard with a spear it's a bit too weird for you <laughs> after that it looks are we going right into uncommons yes we are we're going into a spy. A spy. After that, oh snap, an Anis hag. Casting a spell. Or. Mr. Flump, you were going for one, um, for one, uh, Volothamp Gedarm, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Uh, you said in your German accent, crossing fingers for Volo. Well, you do, in fact, have a rare in this, uh, in this set, Trust a Flump. And that rare so happens to be Manshoon. Manshoon. Manshoon isn't cooperating with the focus on the camera. Would you like Manshoon, Flump? 
You'll gladly take the Manchun. I'll put it down with your Griffin Calvary you popped earlier. Uh-oh, so it's a race between Daly and Flump. Who gets the Volothamp first? Now, while this was built for World... There's not necessarily a scale that's automatically built into this. If we like how this looks, you know, unless we wanted to go back to an archipelago, um, this, you know, a world map here can be whatever we want it to be. And so the rest of what's out here could very well be swamp. Now, this could be the state, this could be the, the size of, um, you know, th th this could be a confederacy uh, uh, that's just all contained in Connecticut or uh, Ohio or Alaska. Uh, if we want to talk about, like, ramping up the, the scale. But I think something like this might work really well for uh, for what we're what we're searching for. Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah, we will do that. I wanted to get a, a, a map setting first. Most of your classic fantasy settings take place on an island the size of Ireland. So any corner of this map could serve as a whole setting itself. Good point, King. I'm looking to remain married, Tressa Flump. I've spent a bit much on gaming gear the past month, and I was told I need to slow down for Christmas shopping. <laughs> hey, Square Planet, welcome. The Well, the map can be massive if we want it to be. Uh, however, there's nothing saying that, uh, you know, this scale isn't just a couple miles across. Or it could be, you know, 20 miles across. I'm uh, I'm Days. Is that how you want me to pronounce it? I'm kind of new to the D and D community. Well, hello to you and welcome. Uh, this is an excellent place to hang out if you are new to D and D. We can help answer your questions and uh, uh, you know help get you involved in the hobby on whatever level you'd like. Uh, for those of you who are just joining us, we are currently in a program called Wonder Draft. And we are going to be fleshing out uh, the setting that we that we created in the prior segment of the channel here, using random elements from the Dungeon Master's Guide mostly, except well, Arctic and Swamp was from the PHB, and that's that's controlling a lot of our geography here uh, and geology and such. And so we're going through this very easy to use tool in order to um, in order to now make this setting. Uh, come to life and be fleshed out. Uh, daily, I know those feels. I really, really do. Uh, Bobicus was going through his TOA uh, campaign. Everything is good out of game, but in game we're at each other's throats. Uh, you're finishing up Team of Annihilation, conflict between your fighter and the good rogue has been becoming more and more of an issue to the point that he's tried to kill me oh my uh he hates my cavalier attitude toward killing the humanoids that oppose us and i have been strongly critical of some of the decisions he's made which have gotten a pc and another important npc killed and endangered an entire party in various degrees so the party encounters his former master a once wise and noble man who has formed a warlock pact with a, uh, with a, a certain person to kill as many people as possible uh, to feed uh, the soulmonger and save his own life. And after a ton of talk, a battle ensues.
you're using incarnate to make maps with this program uh dia uh days i'm days i'm halfway proficient with ms paint and i can get along with this uh with this very well and i'm not i'm not super artistic uh in fact we're, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get more into things here even all right so let's try this again all right, let's go with the, if we go with the archipelago, here's my idea. So let's just say that we have this. And by the way, invert can be interesting too. Um, let's reduce, because this is a swamp, I want to reduce my, my coastal dif uh, uh, distance. And by the way, we can increase or decrease our water level. And by the uh, vignette is just sort of, you know, the, the border around the sides here. Kind of looks like you're taking damage in Call of Duty, right? Oof, oof. All right, now what we can do is, uh, because we want this to be, this we rolled Arctic and Swamp. We want this to be a swamp that is in the middle of an Arctic region or area. So we can go over here, and uh, we want to increase, or we want to bring up land mass. So you see here? Woo, 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 woo. Nice, huh? And we can even touch up, if we want this island to be kind of a little bit, uh, boom, like that. Let's make our brush size larger because we want we want this place to be surrounded, right? We want this place to be surrounded by uh, Arctic waste, right? It just exists in this swamp. And this swamp is a very sort of localized um, is a localized effect. Because if you go beyond the borders of the swamp, as we were talking about, then um, you'll just die, right? I mean, it's so cold. And after having everything be so humid in the swamp that it, it, it's kept uh, it's kept warm by like geothermal uh, activity. <laughs> daily <laughs> oh gosh i know those feels though uh days I, I understand if if it can be difficult for some people for various reasons We take him and his allies down, or forced to heal his master, prevent his death. The very next turn, the master takes his student down uh, two death failures before he's knocked back down to zero. The rogue makes his death save, is healed, and is over his former master's body, trying to make a heal check to save him. When the wizard's three magic missiles uh, force bolts finish him off. Oof, oof. Oh, from Brazil. Uh, well, it's it's a pleasure to meet you. Maybe we can have some kind of a, like a peninsula. I 
and then we can go through and, and by the way if you want to zoom in I, I know it's a little hidden here but in the upper right hand corner we can kind of zoom in a, a, a lot further here and we, you can bump out you can customize your islands if you if you do want to zoom in all right we come out here and say all right let's let's develop this island a little bit more bloop instead of just going um you know say here's the hundred percent that we're that we're doing there we go Hey, hey, nice, TJ. Congrats on that. Sean, or is that, uh, do you want me to call you Sean, or is that uh, Shawnee Cage? Like, instead of Johnny Cage, it's Shawnee Cage. Okay, so we've made, I don't know, if we want it to be even more claustrophobic, maybe we even kind of bring it in like this. Oh, Shawnee Cage, thank you very much for that follow. We can bring it in a lot like this here. Because it's surrounded. We want it to feel kind of claustrophobic. Again, kind of like John Carpenter's The Thing. Right? This is the only, like, melted patch in the, in the tundra and the ice. And so we'll we're we're gonna shut them off here. Days, thank you very much also for the follow. Okay, now if we if we have regrets, we can come over here and we can sink down some land. And we can also do things like uh, make rivers. And so if we do want rivers to flow, um, if you take your left click and... Uh, And then let's say we were to click here and click here and click here. And like it'll keep going until we hit right click. In that case it'll it'll end it. Although I want to undo that. So adding a river isn't too difficult. And something to bear in mind is you have a couple sliders for a river. Right? You can have a, a really thick river. Boom, look at that. Or you can have a super thin river, as such. The roughness, uh, so you have roughness and the meander distance. If you want a perfectly straight river like a canal, you can make that by adjusting, uh, by adjusting that up here. I mean, if, if we go, see how scraggly that is? Or you see how the meander distance is even bigger. So if you wanna if you wanna do something like create some oxbow lakes, uh, you can look that up. Uh, uh, or you know you wanna have a really wiggly river, you can you have your meander distance. You know, boom, boom. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It's crawling across the land. So there's really a lot you can do here. And if you wanted to put then. Um, 
so it, it looks like kind of like a cracked ice or whatever. Um, I guess it would be coming from the other direction. Like this. In fact, if we kind of entertain the idea of a, a meteor, uh, of a, like a meteor crash or something, it almost looks like a hole in the ice. And I, I think you're getting the idea from uh, from this uh, tool. I don't want to spend a lot of time on the super small details uh, because I, I want to get to making our region. But you can see what we can easily do by just left and right mouse clicking. Hey, Derek, welcome home. And yeah, Jarl, uh, Donjon is a very good site. Bobacus is continuing his story from Tomb of Annihilation. He begins demanding to know why the wizard killed his former master and in a fit uh, of pique uh, due to his uh, increasingly violent and controlling behavior toward the rest of the party, blurred out because your master was a coward. He decided that it was better a thousand men die than he face his own death with dignity. The rogue tells me to shut up and that his master was a good person. That he must have been controlled, etc. But I keep going. Eventually, he pulls his daggers and charges. Oh my. Stabs tries to kill you. You do nothing. Not even the dodge action. While telling him he's a coward. Too scared to face the truth. Just like his master. Killing me won't silence me, etc. About two rounds. I'm down to one more hit before I go down. And the party finally subdues him. They're not happy with me. But neither are they willing to let me die. You had a long day, Derek? Well, hey, welcome and, and take a seat. And the, Oh, that, that was an interesting cliffhanger to end your session on, Bobacus. And River Source, fade in on or off if you'd like. All right, now let's go to the sea. Uh, we, can all, we can adjust our colors. And we can also adjust our our water hue, our saturation, interestingly enough, for water, our value, and our stain amount. We can randomize it also, but take a look here. So for stain amount, see? So if we want something that maybe looks kind of dark and swampy, maybe we want a heavy stain on our map for our water. We'll put that back to what that was. Our water value. And it, I mean, it, so it's it's not necessarily just, uh, well, I, I, it is that it's making everything else look brighter. Yeah, that almost looks like an ice sheet, doesn't it? And of course, now, uh, this is a civilization that is, you know, over, over tar pits. Our saturation. How saturated is the color here? Like mega blue. Really faded out gray. And the hue of our color. Hey, huh? Look at that. So if it's over a swamp, maybe we want it more of a... Maybe more like that. Kind of a, a purpley... A purpley uh, Blue color. Oh, Derek, you're you're reading some spoopy uh, some spoopy manga. You're gonna have to deal with the aftermath. Well, hey, that's part of the fun of D and D, uh, Bobacus. Uh, Trust the flump. Yes, it is a very good. Death makes you die. It just makes my brights brighter, says Gandalf. <laughs> Daly says, can uh, you do areas, or is it an all-or-nothing body of water? Uh, what What do you mean by that, uh, Daly?
Oh yeah, you you can do a single town. Uh, we could zoom in, right? So uh, here, let's zoom in three hundred percent. We can put in some little details now, like little rivers, and uh, and we can put uh, trees if we want to make a forest on this island. If you want, so uh, if you want, uh, uh, you know, some direction here, you can kind of put a, a point off for reference, something like that. All right, so that was the C tab. Now we're uh, we we went we went through the uh, the land tab. And um, in fact, I want to go back to. More of a blended. Uh, I think we can keep the uh, the uniform band here. I want to go to the uh, to the brush palette that's over here, and then we're gonna select white. And all of whoops. There we go. And by the way, you see how it's not going in the water? It's automatically keeping the land on its own level. And so here, we're just painting just the land white. And it's kind of like a spray paint. You see how we kind of go whoop and it, it's light. But if we go back over it, it's darkening and darkening and darkening. We can change the brush, uh, the brush size as well if we really wanted to. That brightened up, huh, didn't it? Oh, nice, Derek. It'd be fun if you could do an ice sheet around the outside and uh, swampy in the area around the, the capital city. So, yeah, something else then that we can do. Um, um, if we wanted something like an ice sheet, we could change the width of our coast and then change the color of the coast. Uh, for example, let's go back here. Our coastline color, we can have be something like an icy blue. And then we can... We can extend our coastal effects distance like this. Now, unfortunately, it's going to be all coastline. And in the interior, where it's going to, presumably going to be warmest, it's still going to show a. Um, it's still going to show this sort of icy, um, this uh, this icy you know outline. But it's something to consider. Oh, cat's back. Oh, the Oblex? Yeah. Yep. Now, for the land, um, we can... 
you know, where it's really just sort of jungly and and uh, and warm, we can get a, a good color like this. And then we can have the interior islands just really like filled in as such. And then we could have uh, some of the other islands. Maybe they're starting to lighten up. Like this. And then we build out maybe to now where, where things are kind of like autumnal in color. In fact, let me get my brush size down some. There we go. Got to kind of airbrush this, and, and you can blend the colors a bit, too. See, we can kind of put a little blush. We can kind of put a little blush on things. Go kind of blush that over, blend that a little bit into the green. Maybe there's some southerly winds if we don't want if like so maybe the the southern uh, coast here is somewhat habitable, but it fades off pretty quickly. It's still kind of cold, but it, at least the winds are blowing that direction for a little a little bit into the coast. Whoop, not on the keyboard, bud. Come on. This looks like a turtle? I suppose it does. And hey, you know what? When that happens, Jarl, you could call it Turtle Island if you want. Yeah, the the cat the cat wants attention and affection. So De uh Deas, we use the global generator, but the scale can be whatever you want it to be. So really, we're just making a small area that's in it's contained in an Arctic setting, but it's a swamp due to geothermal heat coming up. Oh, Roxy. Well, hey, if you want to and the time comes, go ahead, but don't feel bad about not being able to. You can call it that if you want, Jarl. Alright, so now you can see we can make all kinds of paths or borders. And so something that we might want to set up, right? This is a confederacy. It's several city-states that are all uh, banded together in a mutual... Um, you know, it's, we, we talked a little bit when we were creating this setting about like federalism and a confederacy is uh, is going to be a style. Um, and so what we can do is make some political borders. And you can have them naturally be wavy like the rivers that we explored earlier. Whoop. Like the rivers we explored earlier. Are you, you just going to take off like this? Are you just going to show me your cat butt? 
Sir? Sir? Okay, there we go. Hey, Ned Poo, welcome. <laughs> so if we wanted to establish different political borders, uh, for example, uh, you know, we could have, uh, we could just have a, a, a dashed line here. Again, like the rivers, you can have them be very wide or the roughness would, would be how, if you just want a, a straight line. In fact, here, we'll, we'll turn them, we'll turn them red. Boom, straight lines. However, whoop, woo. If you go with a higher roughness, now it's a little bit more wiggly, huh? And you can use this to indicate maybe valleys or other natural features that, that are causing a road or a political boundary to wobble. Oh, Roxy, thank you. And remember, you right-click to end the uh, to end the uh, the wandering here. Oh, Derek! Oh, uh, that was a that was a gift uh, from Derek to Roxy. That was super nice of you. Hype indeed. And hey, that's all gonna go when we have our November uh, b uh, miniature box our box raffle. Um, every subscription goes into um, uh, goes into trying to help uh, put more boxes into the pot. Hype, hype, hype. It is. It is Derek's birthday. So happy birthday, sir. Um, but anyways, uh, l let's say because there's a confederacy, this is a stilted city that exists above a swamp. And by the way, if we wanted to raise this up and make uh, bigger blob islands, we can certainly do so. This is kind of a, an explanation or a, or a tutorial in, in how to operate uh, the map making features in Wonder Draft. But let's say that we have um, we have one of our cities here, and uh, it's going to operate out of this northern island. And so they have uh, they have oop, we're going to have to make a going to have to be wider. There we go. So they're going to make a boardwalk uh, that is going to go between all of their islands that are in in this part of the Confederacy's control. Especially because we're talking about our escorts that are vampires, but they're not vampires, but they are vampires. And you can see here, we're having some roughness. This is adding some natural phenomena that you would find in the swamp. Maybe the, the water's too deep or it was unstable or something along those lines. All right, now let's switch up the color and go for like a really like a nice ice blue. Because we're going to have another big part of this confederacy. Uh, these are going to be like their bridges, their borders.
Oh, snap. One for you, one for the Flump and one for uh, Macab Derek here. Very well. Mr. Flump, do you want uh do you want number 1 or number 2? Now let's switch up the color and go for... We'll go for like a nice bright yellow. Someone peed in the snow, I guess. And uh, maybe one of the members of this confederacy is really more of a fringe element here. And only has uh, these islands. So in this case, we're almost creating political borders by the the tunnels and bridges uh, that these uh, that these places are uh, are building or claiming. I feel like I'm playing Ticket to Ride. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> so here we go. We apparently have uh, four territories of, of these city states that are forming a confederacy in the middle of this swamp that is in the middle of an Arctic area. Uh, crack number one first? Sure. All right, so this, this is Flump's box. And you know what? My cat knocked down the little pocket knife I was using to open up, that I was using to open up the boxes. So, oh, you got to peek behind the curtain, right? I have to find, I'm glad that it didn't stab me when it dropped. I have to find where this thing kind of scattered. Actually, I have a box cutter on me. I can just use that. Oh, is this it? If there's a sudden pain in my toe, I will know. Aha! The grabby claw comes in handy. MVP claw. Oh, okay. So Derek. Oh, so this could be Derek's. You think you've lost the audio. Then, um, yeah, unless you get Volo. Yeah, by the way, Derek, he, uh, Flump has been hunting for Volo fam. All right, so then, Derek. Derek, do you want one or two? Which one is yours? I think when I hit 40, I'll change my screen name to Old Man Macabre. <laughs> now, there's all kinds of symbols, by the way, you can uh, plant on your, uh, on your map. Right? So we have we have different, um, you know, if you want it to look like, a, you know, old official, yeah, the, the Navigator's Guild hereby approves of, uh, you know, here, hereby approves. And you can, you can change the size. So that was 100. Now let's put it down to 30. And so now it's just a little thing. Or you can use it as, hey, here's the location of the Navigator's Guild or something. And you can sort by symbol set as well if you'd like. Uh, but I don't know. Let's say that uh, you want to put a wizard's tower or something on. All right, so that's that's a very large tower. Let's shrink this down a little bit. And in fact, we can even uh, 
like zoom in and end up putting a tower we'll put a tower right here boom now when we go back to a hundred it is larger if you want to magnify it and say here's it I'm only gonna highlight the big settlements or bring it down all almost all the way and here's a smaller indication So we can drop, I mean, whatever we would want to uh, attribute, right? Is this a village? Is this a village? Is something going to be more of a monastery or a keep? You want to go with one? All right, so Derek, this is your birthday box from uh, Mr. Flump, if that isn't even his real name. Uh, it also various compass roses that you can select from uh, some other assets here uh, And you can even put some really cool temporary tattoos. I'm just kidding on your map And if you want black and white assets to really stand out against uh, To really stand out against what's there boom boom And I'm sure there's gonna be many more to come too Remember, this is still in a beta, uh, in a beta uh, test version. And so, you know, we, we've made the roads that these escorts uh, are, are traversing to help people. Um, it's, uh, we've done a lot of the map making work. It's just really, okay, if you, you can drop in settlements, you can drop in forests. Um, you know, even if we wanted, uh, like, a, a, an arctic forest. Ooh, and all I'm doing is holding down the button, and it's just, it's placing trees. You can uh, place the tree, you can force the program to place the trees further apart, or really just have them stack up on top. Oh, of course, I'm, I'm designing in the corner that's not showing up very well. So you see, I'm just holding down the right mouse button, and all of a sudden, this is an arctic forest that we made. Bada boom, just as easy as that. And if you really want to place individual trees, you can do so. Mountains are the same. And not just mountains either. I mean, you can place... Yeah, there we go. And there's a big old mountain range. That, again, you can also... You can uh, play with the scale... So that was a bunch of uh, larger mountains. But let's say we want to have a lot of, like, little clustered. Woo! There we go. You know, so there's, like, a little... It's not quite a mountain, but it's a bigger than a hill. Or it's the mountain of the island, which isn't that big. You can play around with a lot of the settings, and it's not... It's all intuitive, right? You know, you can experiment and just hit the back button uh, with this. And it's it's still easy to do. And And I'm a noob when it comes to art. Uh, you can also create uh, what looks like more like hills or ridges. Like so. You know, may maybe in the south, it's really blocked off by a bunch of mountains. And if you don't want to just spam mountains, you can place them, you know, you can place them one at a time if you'd like. So forests, mountains, and uh, you can erase individuals as well with the erase feature here. See how we're kind of creating like a, 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 a cliff? Kind of like wasteland stuff. So, I keep putting this stuff in, in not easily seeable areas here. But 
big old dragon just kind of lurking. And of course, you know, we said that we might have a dragon lurking about. And so we could place this as actually monster, you know, here be monsters. Very intuitive, very easy to use. <laughs> TJ is uh, TJ's reading into uh, uh, is reading into Derek, and it's making Derek squirm. And labels. I mean, the whoops. Island of Yellow, or whatever. You can move it around. Woo! Island of Yellow, like, we'll have a Greenland Iceland flip. The Island of Yellow is actually in blue territory. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, look at that. Super easy stuff. TJ's work here is done, just throws down a smoke bomb and poof, vanishes. Hey, Flannel Pug, welcome. Yeah, it, it's, it's an amazing program. I haven't done much with overlay stuff, um, but it does look like there's uh, hexes, squares. So you can add... Um, You know, so you can make your own hex crawl if you want. You can make your own chalt. If any of you are familiar with Tomb of Annihilation. Whoops. None. I got rid of some of my bridges because I hit back. <laughs> Dead TJ. <laughs> Whoa, hey Bobo. We have two of our three of uh of our uh, our B Trinity here. Uh um we're missing Bubonic one, but uh we had Bobacus and Bobo is here now. Sounds like a good morning to me too, Derek. Hey yeah, welcome to the stream. Hey, you have a professional uh you have a a profession now to maintain, sir. So anyway, I got to show this off, and I think this really does wonders to help us now make the ideas we were kind of thrown at the wall more concrete for this region, or we can uh, we can zoom in, and on a separate map, we can recreate this island and then make individual houses. You know, as much as we saw this, we can effectively do that in this program also. It might require a separate map. Although, uh, as a, a fun little aside, let me find it here. This website, and I'll, I'll put it... This website's really good, and it's also simple. Because uh, you can make a small, medium, large town, and there's uh, there's different options um, that you can. Whoop. Holy moly, time bless. It does indeed, it, with a wonderful uh, Welsh accent. Uh, thank you very much uh, for that uh, for that resubscription, Bobo. That means a lot to me. Towers, buildings, you can change water. You can have, uh, you can turn on or off. So this city doesn't have a citadel. And it also doesn't have a river. But it is on a coast. And we want it to be a small city. I mean, a large city. So that, that, this website can help you make a city really quickly. 
if something like this is uh, is what you'd like for a quick reference, even if you recreate it later. But there's just a ton of tools out there for you to use and to really enjoy. <laughs> 